So cables, some people swear by everything that they know that cables improve the sound of IAMs or change the sound in certain ways depending on the material that's made. If it's a copper cable, it changes the sound in this and this way, silver in this and this way, gold cable tend to suck. If you've been in this hobby for a while or even just for a second, you'll know that a lot of people talk about cables and how it improves the sound, it changes the sound, whatever it is. To me, me, however, having been in this hobby for a while and owning literally over a hundred different IEMs and a whole bunch of cables, a lot of cables. From my findings, do cables improve the sound or change the sound of an IEM? Yes and no. Yes, it does probably because it is the unit that connects the player to the IEM. It has an effect on the sound, but no, I don't think it has that much of an effect on the sound that is audible or it changes the IEM completely. You're not gonna get one IEM that's warm, change the cable and suddenly it's not warm. That's just not gonna happen. That's not what cables do. They can possibly affect the sound, but again, not to a noticeable degree, at least to my findings. So having said that, what is this video about then? Why are you making videos on cables? While for me, cables may not be something that I look to to improve the sound of an IEM, but it is definitely something I look to for utility and comfort. And this video, I'm gonna tell you guys some of the IEMs that has the best stock cables and also recommend you guys some really nice upgrade cables if you're looking for something that's more comfortable, more stylish, and just overall more useful. Well, first let's get into why you might want to upgrade a cable, and there's a couple reasons. Number one, it's just uncomfortable. Maybe the materials don't really work well with your skin, your skin get irritated, scratchy, whatever. Or number two, it's just bad quality cable in general. It gets tangled very easily. Or maybe they're one of those fabric cables that fall apart very easily, or they're just very stiff and has a lot of memory, kind of just hard to use, annoying to use overall. As much as this hobby focuses on what goes on in your ears, in your brain, the music experience, the audible experience, comfort is one of those things that you do not want to compromise, especially if you're trying to focus on the music. If you're having a long listening session, you don't want anything to take away from that. So in comes our first set of upgrade cables. These are so comfortable, lush. All four of these upgrade cables that I'm about to mention right now, all from Kinera, are some of the best upgrade cables that I've personally experienced when it comes to comfort. The first one being the Ace. This one is a light blue, white cable. It looks really nice, stylish, also very cheap, $39. The next one up is the Lei Ting, a little bit of a darker tone color. Personally, this is one of my favorite because it fits so many IEMs and it looks so dang good. The next one is called the Draw Me. This one is a very kind of sexy silver, almost a metallic type of design, super cool looking one as well. And the last one, I'm gonna completely butchered this name is called the Glyphier? Glyphnir? This one is just sparkly gold. It just looks super duper stunning. And the best part about these Canera cables is that they come with three different terminations. So 4.4 balance, a 2.5 and a standard 3.5 of course. So you can plug it into any source. And also they have the option of MMTX, 2 pin or custom option if you want to you know get other special connectors so these four cables from Kinera for me i've experienced all of them i love all of them the last two are on the pricey side and i don't think you really need to get those two you can go with the ace or the lating i think those two work just as well as the expensive ones but for those of you with like heavier pockets i guess you have more color options to pick from but yeah those are very very good cables and i highly recommend them if you have cables that you want to upgrade. Now, let's get into some of the IEMs that has the best stock cables. Besides the Canaras that I mentioned, there are a few of them that you need to know. We're gonna start off with the lowest price all the way up to the higher price, all right? So in lower price IEMs, there's really not a whole lot of IEMs that gives you really good cables because, you know, they need to cut costs somewhere. And normally they cut costs in the accessory department. So a lot of cheaper IEMs don't have good cables at all. They're very just run of the mill, scratchy. They're, they feel cheap, they feel tankly. So you're gonna get most of that. But coming in at $50, our first option possibly has the best cable 
of anything under $100. This one is the tri Poen Melee. The cable on this just feels nice, soft, it doesn't get tangled all that easily. It doesn't come with three terminations though, but you know, it's $50. What do you expect for the whole unit, the IM and the cable? So you're not gonna get three different terminations, but these are super nice, soft, comfortable cables. Again, they don't get tangled all that easily. And at $50, you're not gonna find a better cable than this. Keep in mind that it's only a two pin, so not MMCX. Unfortunately, there's only one option for this cable, at least as far as I know. And by the way, all the IMs that I mentioned today are very good IMs that I highly recommend as well because I don't want you to buy a bad IM just to get a good cable. It doesn't make any sense, right? So all of these are fantastic IMs, highly recommended, that so happens to come with very good cables. The next one up, coming in at $100, this one is DA Audio Legacy 2. And one thing about DA Audio that I love is that they normally come with very good cables all the way up to the clairvoyance, the oracle, the monarchs, all of them have fantastic cables. And this cable right here is fantastic, man. It comes with the Legacy 2, which is really good. I think it comes with the Legacy 4 as well. Legacy 5 has a different cable. Legacy 3 has a different cable, but this cable is awesome. This is even better than the Melee cable. It just feels extra soft heavy it's just quality cable right here really enjoy using this one again this is a two pin so not an mmcx and also doesn't have three terminations but again at a hundred dollars for the im and the cable you don't expect that but yeah legacy 2 really good neutrally tuned im just solid easy to like nothing to really hate about it and the cable again nice okay the next step up is the shores s12 and it's very sexy looking cable i really like the design of the Shure s12 cable it's like gunmetal gray with some silver super good looking it's just works so well with many gray or silver IEMs. It looks super good with the S12, of course. It's just one of those cables that I just enjoy for the aesthetic of it. It feels super heavy as well, very comfortable, soft, high quality. And the S12 is, again, one of the best planar on the market. You guys don't need me to tell you that every single day I'm on this channel, right? Just get the S12 if you don't own it buy one. Now next IEM is from Moondrop and if you've been in this hobby for a while you know that Moondrop is notorious for having probably some of the worst stock cables on the market. The Blessing 2, 2 Dust, the Aria you know with the fabric cables they just never do stock cables right until this IEM right here and this one is the Kado and let me tell you, the cable on the Kado is a huge, huge upgrade over any other cable stocked that they ever provide. Now, Moondrop does sell some upgrade cables as well. I'll leave some on the screen right now, the ones I really like. These two are very, very good. And one of them here also has termination options as well. Now, the cable on the Kado is very nice like probably one of my favorite cables it is heavy a little bit slightly bit on the stiff side if you stretch it out enough it holds just a little bit of memory barely any this one is super solid better than all the other ones that i mentioned in this video so far it just feels premium in your hand and what a huge upgrade this is from all the other Moondrop cables, let me tell you that. Next one, we have one from Dunu. This is the SA6. Now, Dunu is one of those very special brands where if you buy an IEM from them at a certain price point and up, you get extremely well-made cable. This does not get tangled that easily. It holds virtually no memory at all. It just falls straight down. The best part is you can change the termination. There's 4.4, there's 2.5, there's 2.5, and it's super high quality. The build here, the little connector here, extremely solid, probably one of the best in the industry. I just love Dunu for that. If you buy any expensive Dunu, you're gonna get really good cable to go with it. And if you do not want to buy an expensive Dunu, the cables are also sold separately as well. And yeah, Dunu cables are just some of the best out there, man. <laughs> After so many IMs that I own, these have consistently impressed me, no matter which cable I grab from Dunu. Again, though, at certain price point and up, some of the more cheaper Dunus don't have such good cables. And lastly, this is the only fabric cable that I will entertain. All the other fabric cables are really not that great. This one is from the Monarch Mark II from again 
DA Audio. Now this is different from any other DA Audio cables. That's why I'm gonna mention it separately from the other ones. But this one is super good looking, sexy, brown fabric cable. It goes extremely well with the Monarch Mark II's aesthetic being a little bit more earthy tone color. Falls straight down has virtually no memory whatsoever. Again, the connector can be changed to any termination you want, a 4.4, 2.5, 3.5. Again, this is one of my most favorite cables of all time. I've never found a cable that's so well made, yet stylish and has all the usability that you need with an expensive IEM. It's just a solid cable and it, look, it just looks so good. And yeah, that is um, pretty much it on cables and probably the only cable video I ever made. Again, I really don't believe that cable changes the sound in any significant way, but I do believe that cables play a huge role in comfort and the whole listening experience. Hence why you should always get yourself the most comfortable cables possible. Canera ones are great. These IEMs come stock with super good cables as well. There's a lot to pick out there. Just find your favorite, get one two pin, get one MMCX and just, you know, use that forever. Swap it around with the IEMs that you own, etc. So yeah, with that being said, I'll see you guys in another video. Peace out, bye.